people meet me, they see me as a woman, as a wife, as a mother, and sometimes they're surprised to discover that one of my great passions in life is men's rights. What led me into men's rights was this idea that men are monsters, and if you give them a chance, they will discard their wives, discard their children, leave them on the street to starve. In fact, most divorces are initiated by women, not by men. The media gives us the impression that somehow men have every advantage and we have less advantages. That simply isn't true. The men's rights conversation is a way of shining a light on issues that affect men and rights, legal rights, that men don't have and women do. Men deserve to have rights because men are human beings. What other reason do you need? Ooh. Everybody, Whoa. please welcome Janet to the show. Thanks welcome. For I just want to ask you, as a mother to mother, you have boys, Three children, two girls, and a boy. So, did did your being the mother to a son have anything to do with this evolution for you? Because you do take a pretty extreme position uh, on some of these issues. It had everything to do with it. That I'm really concerned about a world in which my son has less opportunity than my daughters. My son has less opportunity to go to college. Women dominate on college campuses. When it was men who dominated college campuses, that was seen as a problem. And now women are outnumbering men on campus, and that's not seen as an issue that needs to be addressed. That concerns me. Well, so I, I agree with you completely in terms of having the conversation, but there are a few points that you've made that I, I, I felt a little uncomfortable with. Why are you so hardcore in some of your views? If you only read the headlines, you'd probably be horribly appalled by what I write. My question for you, Janet, is because I think that we get sometimes caught up with a, a term and a definition of things, you know, and I think the term feminism, for example, means something different to different people, different times of our history. It's meant different things. But I think, where do you lose track of the individual case example versus, let's say, throwing the baby out with the bathwater, for example? I mean, we, I was sharing um, with everyone backstage that I once spoke about an actress uh, undergoing a, a medical situation, and I, I made a, a framing comment that I thought she looked terrific for her age, and I was accused of being anti-feminist. And I thought, isn't that ridiculous? I've dedicated my whole medical career to women's health and women's rights and pro-woman, but is, have we slipped so far that oh, I can't give a, a simple compliment without it being framed anti-feminist? It's an excellent example because it signifies the switch between feminism as being about opportunities for women. We want women to have the opportunity to do and be whatever they want. And if they choose to be stay-at-home moms, like myself, I have an MBA, I have experience working in international banking, I am delighted to be at home with my children Right, no one's forcing time. you to do that. Right. And somehow feminism has switched from being about equality and opportunity into blaming men for all of women's problems and this perpetual victimhood.